five years of marriage had woven a tapestry of success and comfort for us. My business was booming and our love seemed unbreakable. But there was a subtle change in the air that I couldn't quite put my finger on. My wife, once content with our life, began to engage in mysterious activities, especially the gym, which she attended every day with unwavering devotion. Jenny enjoyed practicing yoga, cooking healthy meals, and tending her rose garden. She was my biggest supporter as the company grew. Then Jenny started going to the gym for two hours every day, saying she wanted to get in shape. When I asked her about her new regimen, she said, Paul, let me focus on my health and peace. One fateful day, I unexpectedly came home earlier than usual, and as luck would have it, the door opened and my wife walked into the room with a man I had never seen before. In fear and disbelief, I quickly hid under the bed in the bedroom. My heart raced as I realized that this man was her lover who could easily overpower me. From my hiding place, I watched as they came together on our bed, their passion igniting the room. They were doing it right on the bed underneath where I was. An intricately framed mirror on the wall gave me a tantalizing view of their intimate encounter. I was both horrified and delighted, torn between the desire to confront them and the paralyzing fear of being exposed. Oh, David, as he kissed her and groped her body. David, this wasn't just a physical relationship she was having an affair. Ginny moaned. Oh, David as he kissed her neck and caressed her body. David whispered, I missed you so much, baby. I hate only seeing you at the gym. I wish I could be with you all the time. Jenny replied, Well, we're together now, beautiful. Let's make the most of every moment. Next, Jenny started moaning and screaming loudly. Come on, David, don't stop. Yes, yes, yes. You're the best. As they made love, I watched in agony. I had no idea my wife was so passionate in bed. She never moaned with me. Determined to take a path that would teach my wife a clear lesson, I made a radical decision. I sold my thriving business and donated all the proceeds to a charity to help others in need. Finding a new purpose, I embarked on a transformative journey to Africa and dedicated myself to my work as a doctor bringing healing to the wounded. Meanwhile, my wife found herself in a sea of financial uncertainty with no financial support. She was forced to take a job at a home decorating service, where she was mired in housework and her heart ached for what she had lost. The distance between us grew both geographically and emotionally.